Hello everyone and welcome to another game of World of Warships. Today it's one of my replays and I'm in the Minotaur, a tier 10 British cruiser. I'm on the map Northern Lights in a 4 point domination game and it's a pure tier 10 battle with one raider and no carrier. And also only three battleships, which is interesting. But then again, there is triple Smolensk, so I wouldn't want to be a battleship in this battle anyway. And it looks like I'm dodging those torps. I'm detected, but I do have a smoke screen, so I can just disappear here. Smoke generator activated. Now, there is triple Smolensk on both sides, I should add, so you know. Even worse, I'm actually divisioned with one. <laughs> but, you know, jokes aside, bitter as it may. I've come to this camp here in order to provide some support, but you know, the Howland is not actually inside the camp, he has decided to retreat. Now my division mate in the Daring is probably going to go in there soon. We know where the Stalingrad is, so there is no radar around. Speaking of radar, our radar just caught the enemy Shimakase and let's have a look there. Looks like the Shimakase overextended. Basically, if it stayed behind this island, he would have probably been safe from the radar, but for some reason he went a little bit too far and now he got explodified. Good start. There are some poops coming for my division mate there. And oh, the Halland is actually spotted. So let's see what we can do about this. Now, unfortunately, I mean, 9 km isn't that far away, but uh, you know, it takes my shells like 8 seconds to reach that, and 8 seconds is quite a bit of time for him to potentially maneuver around. And my aim is like not very good in this one. So, probably could have aimed a little bit better. But hey. We made him run away, and I got six pens into a star, uh, Smolensk, so there is that. Now the problem is I have not much use here currently, the Smolensk went uh, like towards the deep camp, so I won't have shots at him from where I'm now. The majority of the enemy force is in the 1-2 line, way too far for me to reach, and the Talon is or probably not going to show herself anytime soon. So my division mate in the Smolensk is now going in here with a smoke screen trying to flip the sea cap. And I mean, Smolensk has Hydro, so he should be in a pretty decent position there if the Howland decides to come back. Meanwhile, I've decided to go over and try to help with the D cap. There's still some time left until I have a smoke screen again, but I could technically with the smoke screen try to camp D. So they don't really have any radar. And there was a Montana somewhere, but he's probably in the 910 line being useless. So I shouldn't be. I shouldn't have to be afraid of battleships, and I can angle against Smolensk armor piercing shells just fine. So, you know, um, it's a reasonable argument for me to just try to cap, it, uh, to cap D when smoke is ready again. Then again, it looks like the Harugumo is actually going to do that for me, which would be appreciated. Now Harugumo does have the best concealment, but it's still better than mine. So I'm slowly approaching here and just waiting to see what happens. Meanwhile, my division mates are going to grab C, hopefully. And well, there seems to be a stalemate on the left flank going on with just some long range sniping on both sides. Okay, so this Smolensk is a profit now. Approaching. Now if the Smolensk charged in here with Hydro, that would kind of ruin any smoke plants, but you know, the Montana here made my decision for me. Basically, I'll just stay here, smoke up and engage the Montana. Smoke generator it seems like a reasonable choice to do. Now the Montana is currently not angling that much, which means I should be able to hopefully get some decent damage. Yeah, well, a little bit more decent smoke than that. Set. And I'm keeping an eye out of the. Uh, I'm keeping an eye on the Smolensk. As I said, like this Smolensk coming in from behind with Hydro could be very troublesome. Uh, he's trying to blind shoot me, but thankfully he wasn't that close to me. So anyway, if the Smolensk comes in here and Hydro's me, then the Montana will just probably sink me with one or two salvos, and that's my biggest concern right now. And this Smolensk is like 5 kilometers away, which is, I believe, his hydro range. But it looks like this Smolensk is already turning away, so he decided to not push this any further. That's good news. 
It's also broadside. He's, oh, the Montana is too close, so he's detecting me inside my summon screen. Not really a situation I want to be in. But, you know, uh, Montana is down, so I'm in concealment once again. And maybe now we can arm this Molinsk a little bit. There is a juicy citadel. There are some more citadels. But for now, this Molinsk is. Oh, there is a. Uh, well, there is another Smolensk. Also broadside, I improve. Now let's see what we can do there. And there are some more citadels. And that's one Smolensk down. Two more to go. Now, meanwhile, we do have the D camp, which is quite lovely. We also have the C camp. And it doesn't look too bad. We are one ship ahead right now. So, the Smolensk here is inside a smoke screen, but you know, he shouldn't actually be seeing anything right now. So, is it just blind shooting our smoke? Possibly. I have one top launch already, so orbs go into the smoke. I mean, I could be concerned about torpedoes coming out at them. The Minotaur is quite maneuverable. But still, like, no reason to just sit roadside towards the smoke screen and wait for the Smolensk to top me in return. Right now, mostly I'm just waiting for the smoke screen to disappear or the Smolensk to come out of it. And there we go. Got some nice citadels on this guy earlier. Let's see if we can get some more. But at this point, I think we don't even need citadels. Well, I mean, hitting would be a good uh, start here, wouldn't it? If you want to make fun of my aim, feel free, go ahead. But I sank my second Smolensk right now, and isn't that luck? Now, third Smolensk, and he is showing broadside. Also, I mean, I'm not detected because it's inside a smoke screen, so he can't actually see me from there. And there goes some citadels. Can we get more citadels? We are up to three. Four, five, there you go. And that's a third Smolensk sunk in this battle. I know, this, this felt quite satisfying, I'm, I'm not gonna lie. Also, the overall battle seems to be in pretty good uh, shape. The enemy team will have a hard time coming back from this one, to be honest. So, let's see. I mean, the enemy team finally managed to push the left flank somewhat. But it's probably far too late. We've basically cleaned up this side so we can just go ahead and meet them. And there are no crossfires for the enemy team. They would have needed to push this a lot sooner and catch us while we still had problems around here. Oh, look at that. There is a broadside Goliath. Would, would be a shame if something happened to that. Is he, is he going to go forward again? In why on earth would he go forward, you know? That would just expose him to our guns more. So I guess he's going forward. Now the... Uh, the good thing about Minotaur Shell Arcs is I can lock quite a few over this mountain, but you know... I guess not, not high enough for the highest peak there. And the Goliath is down anyway. So that leaves the enemy with three ships. And yes, victory is definitely in sight. So there is still a minute left on my smoke screen. Officially, this is not an engagement I would pick. Like, if this was closer... Keep in mind that the Minotaur has a very little armor and has a very high citadel. It actually has a raised citadel in the center of the ship. So there is more citadel than anything else. And it's very hard to not hit if you basically hit the Minotaur in the center and you miss the citadel, it's uh, a miracle in itself. So I wouldn't recommend going open water gun boating like this, but you know, you have to be either very desperate or very sure of your victory to, <laughs> to do this. And right now I'm just very sure of my victory. I'm also still high on the fact that I destroyed three Smolensk sites. And you know, it seems to be working very well so far. Uh, 
Got in a little hug with a Republic. Now my smoke is almost ready again, but of course Stalingrad does have raiders, so there is that. And currently the Stalingrad seems to be ignoring me, but uh, no, not anymore. Also, I mean, there's a Halland around, so it would make sense to go Hydro here as well. Now, I'm smoking, which probably means the Stalingrad will just radar. I mean, it could be on cooldown. It could be out of rage or charges at this point. But it's most likely just going to radar each I mean, it's only the Stalingrad and the Halland left, and... That means it's not the biggest issue. Also, I mean, I'm still... I still need one more for my Kraken. Maybe it can be the Stalingrad, although... I only have armor piercing and he's angled. And as you can see, he is... Uh, even though I'm angled very well, it doesn't really help that much, because Minotaur doesn't have any measurable amount of armor. Now, Stalingrad is down, that just leaves the Halland. Come on, just, just go full broadside. Well, he's, he's slightly angling there, that's, that's a shame. And there, go, there is the Kraken. And here we are with some results, so that worked quite well, and I even got my Kraken in the end, so that's nice. And yeah, it was quite an enjoyable battle from my perspective at least, so I hope you enjoyed watching it too, and I'll see you guys next time.